The last major subject in JavaScript are objects, which we have been dealing with basically this entire time without talking about it. I kind of don't like the fact that we're learning about objects now, but whatever. We've been using them this entire time right under your nose. You didn't even know. So objects are basically ways to abstract a ob or a, a thing with from its properties. So you can have an apple, you can see the color is red, the species is Fuji, and you have a pest of worm, which could be something else. You can favorite food, apples, name is wormy, right? So these are different properties that are assigned onto an apple, and the apple is named something else, right? So you have const apple equals this object of apple that contains those properties. So it just abstracts that data away and turns it into a, an assigned variable, which we've been dealing with. Arrays. That's what an array is. It's a list of things. Console does that. But yeah, whatever. I think that's supposed to be a uh, moment later on in this, but whatever. I don't really care. Objects can be assigned to variables just like in any JavaScript type. We use curly brackets um, similar to scopes. You use a curly bracket in scopes to create a scope. However, if you have it uh, something assigned to anything in curly brackets that, or you have a curly bracket assigned to something, some variable name, that is creating an object. So that's the difference between these two things. The curly brackets, yes, they denote scope. However, when they are assigned to a variable or anything, it will be a object or an object. So in the object, you have key value pairs similar to hash maps. You've got your key that you set and your value that you pass in. Okay, yeah, if you've dealt with like hash maps in JavaScript, or I'm sorry, not Java, but um, yeah, in Java, Rust, whatever, same thing. So a spaceship we have so far looks good, but unfortunately it is not very fast at hyperspace due to having inferior fuel source. Make a new spaceship object named faster ship with the same color as spaceship with the fuel type of turbo fuel. Cool. So let faster ship fuel type turbo fuel, tubo fuel, turbo fuel. Great. So now I've got an object with the fuel type and notice there are a couple different things happening here. So you don't have to put your parameter inside of a string unless it has characters that are not able to be assigned to a variable. So for example, plus minus times divided by, like all of those are not assignable. Anything that is reserved is not assignable to a value name, not including numbers. So it can't start with the number, but it can have numbers anywhere in there. If it does start with a number, it has to be inside of a string. So there are a couple of different ways to access that information. I think we're gonna learn it next. Yep. So. I don't really like how they're doing it here, but actually, no, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this because you got that. All right. So let's use the dot operator to access the num crew. So in order to access something, in order to access that inside of spaceship, we have to use the dot operator. So spaceship or console.log spaceship shahip ship dot num crew. So if we do this, this dot operator is accessing the num crew, num crew value inside of a spaceship, which is going to be five. So if I run this, it should say five. Yay. Crew count. I have to add a crew count. So now um, I'm going to add a crew count on top of here. Space ship dot crew count equals. Let's use it to access that object encoder, create a visible variable crew count. Okay, I see what's going on. Const crew count equals space ship dot num crew. All right, crew count. All right, so we run that, we see five. Okay, again, using the dot operator, let's uh, planet array and assign the spaceship's flight path property to it. So we can assign something. So crew count dot planet array equals 
flight uh, crew count dot flight path. So now, there we go. We're gonna, um, what do you mean I have a syntax error? I don't have a syntax error. What do you, oh, I did crew count, not spaceship. Planet array. Oh, I wanted to create a planet array. I didn't want to, so const planet array. Okay, I didn't, I want to be able to assign things. Okay, so I wanted to showcase, great. I wanted to showcase that we can assign new properties onto an object by just creating a new thing. So console.log spaceship will be planet array. You can see planet array right here. Okay, that's what I really, really wanted to showcase, and I wish they showcased it like that. So you're going to assign new properties onto it. If I uh, didn't do this, you'll see it doesn't have planet array. If I do this, planet array, it's right there. Okay, so next. Then you have bracket notation. So arrays are objects. We have learned that arrays are objects previously. So now we're going to use the array object notation where you pass in the number they want the index of the thingy and you'll pull the whatever it is out well you can do the same thing with objects but you just pass in the thingy so your property name so i am going to what is it having us to do uh, da, 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 da. let's use bracket notation to get active mission from the spaceship and const is active equals spaceships prop name. So we can pass in variables inside of these brackets to identify or to access information inside of there. So if I run this, it's probably going to say yes. Yay. Okay. So this worked. I'm going to console.log is active. Kind of keep doing that active. Prop name provided the value of active property. Okay. So you can see that that is true. Active mission, true. And I could pass in this information into there, and you'd also get the same information out. So you can either pass in the prop name as a variable or not. Do the same thing. Property assignment, same thing. Uh, we did this before, but okay. Reassign color to property value. So spaceship.color equals glorious gold. Okay run and then without changing lines one through six add a num engines property with a numeric value between one and ten to the spaceship object so spaceship dot num engines equals ten run so we are creating a new what oops i misspelled it we are creating a new property on top of there called num engines. I did this before and I was just confused when I was doing it. And then you can use the delete operator to remove something from the spaceship. So space or delete spaceship secret mission. Okay. And that will remove all of that information. So let's log it. Let's see what happens now. Console log spaceship. Running it, we can see there is no more secret mission. The num engines is 10, even though we didn't originally put that on there. And we have changed the color to glorious gold. Cool. Is the next methods? Yes, it is. All right. So we are going to look at methods in the next thingy, in the next video. But for now, um, yeah, that's properties of objects.